Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code. It's called Path Sum 2. It's a medium. Let's get started. Given a binary tree and a sum, find all root to leaf paths where each path sum equals the given sum. Note a leaf is a node with no children. Example, given the below binary tree and a sum equaling 21, 22, return the following list. So we have 5 being our root node, then 4, 8 following, and 11, 13, 4, 7, 2, 5, 1. The only list we can return out are leaf nodes that have no children and the path of which equals the sum. So 5 plus 4 plus 11 plus 2 equals 22. Um, 5, 4, 11, 7 doesn't. 5, 8, 13 doesn't. 5, 8, 4, 5 does. And 5, 8, 4, 1 doesn't. So that is why we only return these two lists. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, let's take a look at the example again. We start with our root node of 5. And how can we traverse through a binary tree? We can go left and then right. So we can use a depth first search, right? And each time we want to build our list so we don't have to keep track of going back to 11, 4, 5. So as we do that, suppose as soon as we hit the node, the root node 5, we add it to our list and we know the sum we want to equal is 22. But after seeing 5, we know we have 22 minus 5 left to be seen. So all the following nodes should sum up to 17. Now let's say we check out left before checking out right. So we would be at 4. And here, before we go left and right again, we would obviously um, continue going left if we are using recursion and doing left before right. But over here, what we would do is add 4 to our current list that we are building. And we know the sum now has to equal 17 minus 4, which is 13. Now, 4's left is 11. So the order, again, we are using is left and then right. So 4 doesn't really have a right, so it doesn't matter right now. We can just go left. So 5, 4, 11 is also appended to our list. 13 minus 11 equals 2. So now the sum that we want is 2. We go into 11's left, which is 7. Add that to our list. So 5, 4, 11, 11, and 7. Now, we know that 7 doesn't have left or right children. So this is our leaf node. Here we want to make the comparison if the sum equals the total in our list. So we know we wanted to hit 2. And 2 is not equal to 7. That was the last number we had to add. So 2 minus 7 does not equal 0. Or we can say 2 does not equal 7. It's the same thing since that was the only sum that we had left to see. So what we do is we do nothing, we simply return. And now that we've checked left, we now go into right. So exploring node two, we add that five, four, 11, and two. This should be two. And two minus two does in fact equal zero. So we're good here. The sum that we wanted to see, 2, equals our leaf node. And that's how we know we want to take this list that we've put together and add it to our resulting list. So that's the basic idea of how we want to iterate and keep track of all these lists, sum, and resulting lists. What we're going to do is use recursion. And path sum only takes in a root and a sum. So let's make a helper function for this. The first check we want to do is if root is none, if root doesn't even exist, all we do is return the empty list. Otherwise, all we do is return self.helper. And we want to take in root. We want to take in our total sum that we want at each level. I don't want to call this sum since that's already a Python function. Um, I want a list builder. So a list that's going to store all the paths that we see. You know how we built in from 5 to 4 to 11 to 2? So that's going to be in our first list. Then we want our final list, our resulting list, to store all the paths that actually equaled our sum that we wanted. 
Now that we have that, we write our helper. So def helper. This is going to take in root sum total. This should be sum here because we're actually passing in the sum in our function. We call it sum total though. This is going to be our list and this is going to be result. So again, we take in our root node, the sum total value that we are trying to equal from a given root, the list that we've built so far, and a resulting list storing all the lists that do match what the question is asking. So our base case for recursion is, in this case, if the node that we are on is a leaf node. So if root.left is none, and root.right is none, we are at leaf. And now we want to make a check if that value that is left in, on our leaf node actually equals whatever value we wanted to hit from sum total. So if root.val equals sum total, now we add our new formed list with our root value to result. So result plus equals. And result is a list of lists. So we want a list of a list. So list plus root dot val. And if we are at this bottom two right here, list would have stored five, four, 11. We're simply adding two to our list and adding all of that to result. Now, if it is not the case that this is a matching root value and sum total, we do nothing. And if it is not a leaf node, we continue recursing. So if root.left exists, we call self.helper on root.left sum total minus root.val, what we've currently seen. We pass in list plus our current value, root.val, and whatever result we've seen so far. We want to hold on to that. So this is result. And the same thing for the right side. So if root.write, we call the helper again, self.helper on root.write this time, sum total minus root.val. So whatever is left that we want it to equal for the following nodes, we add this to our list and it continues growing and the result, whatever we have, stays. Finally, all we do is return result. So let's run this code. Accepted and submit. And it's accepted as well. So going just a little bit more in depth, let's just go ahead and print root.val sum total list and result just to get an idea of what's happening. So as you can see in the very beginning, we want to hit the sum of 22. We have five empty lists being called. Then we have left, we go left, right? So five, four. Now the sum total we need is 17. We've already seen five. Again, we have nothing in the results. And we keep going down. Finally, when we have our leaf node of two, the value of sum total that we need is two. Our list currently holds five, four, 11, our current path, and nothing in result. Once we finally pop back up from here, we're in the eight, we know our result should hold five, four, 11, two, which it does. And that's how it's building it together. And talking about space time complexities, space is going to be O of n. Theoretically, all the paths could be potential lists. And for runtime, since we hit every single node in the tree, that is also O of n. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.